Yeah, I spoke to both Gonzaga and WSU players today, and the Bulldogs and Cougs agree here. Things have got to improve. When you see the comparisons on social media, it's it's pretty disappointing. When the Gonzaga women went to their first weightlifting session in San Antonio, they immediately had to scramble. The lone weight rack with 12 weights that was provided was hardly enough for their 16 players' weight training needs. Trainer Mike Nielsen, who was a member of the Zags' legendary 1999 NCAA tournament team, had to make some quick revisions and get to work. He was like, you can make gains or you can make excuses, but you can't make both. And so um, we're just trying to make the best of the situation. Some of the differences between the men's and women's bubbles outside of the weight rooms include the quality of food and the swag bags. Okanagan native Jill Townsend voiced her displeasure today. You saw the, the weight room, obviously, and the weight room serves as a, you know, a health standpoint for us. It's injury prevention. And then I know the men's uh, side is kind of getting this uh, out, outdoor field to where they're able to go and um, play games and do different stuff. Our only out times time that we get is uh, our walk to get tested. And so I think from a, a mental health standpoint and outside and a health standpoint within the weight rooms and food, uh, there kind of is no uh, reason for that disparity between the men and women's side, uh, we deserved our health and mental health to be taken just as seriously as the men. Some companies have put their money where their mouth is. Dick Sporting Goods says they have U-Hauls with workout equipment ready to go, and Orange Theory offered up their equipment as well. Townsend says it's bittersweet that these companies have to step in to try to shore up the NCAA's problems, but she's grateful that they care. To see these companies step up and, uh, you know, put themselves kind of on the line uh, for us women to get just as equal as treatment um, as the men's side. It is really cool to see just how that kind of call has taken up across the nation. WSU Ford Bella Murakatete summed up the players' feelings about the bubble in one 10 second soundbite. They just need to do better in general. And um, it's not like we're not like appreci appreciating what they're doing. It's just like, the way, like, like, it's just like, yeah, they need to do better. Gonzaga women's basketball head coach Lisa Fortier noted in her media availability that a few members on staff brought weights and TRX straps for themselves to the bubble. If they have to give those up to their student athletes in order for them to get some sort of training in, the staff is prepared to do that. Back to you.